Welcome back. Um, let me just, um, I'm, I'm actually, um, I've moved inside the, the house. I just need to, I'm going to put this towel, towel over me, just not so much to protect me, just I've got the hub here and it's extremely cold. And yeah, it's extremely cold. I'll, I'll put the gloves on as well. I'm just trying to sort of get to the final stages of, um, you know, preparing the hub to go back on the car. Let's just put the uh, LED light on a little bit. There we go. And um, I'm wearing my... Uh, my trusty uh, hooded top and um, this is from my friend Adam in uh, Sweden living with the classic um, he's got an absolutely fantastic sort of um, YouTube channel for anybody that's um, is, is, is interested or works on classic Jaguars it's essential viewing now um, I'm trying to remove um, let's just bring it up to the camera this is um, this is a, a grease cap and um, that's supposed to flip out relatively easily and you can fire grease into there it goes into the um, into the hub into the bearing um, those of you who have seen the previous videos will notice I've had this hub in solvent and it sounds a bit a bit rough now um, there's no there's no play in the bearing but it sounds a bit rough because I've had it in solvent to try and dissolve away any sort of residue of, of solvent that was into the in, in, I say solvent, remove that word. Um, use a solvent, I beg your pardon, to dissolve any residue of grease. The grease is very, very old. I want it all out. Obviously, I'm also trying to clean this hob up. It was completely filthy and black. And there are bearings here as well. Um, those bearings don't get quite well. Actually, they get a lot of a lot of a lot of bashing. You know, that's um, the hub. The hub pivots slightly. Obviously, there are wheels here, and the, the hub sort of pivots, and it's on a um, it's on a shaft. What's that called? A fulcrum shaft. So those those bearings take a lot of beating, but they don't take much actual turning. They only turn a fraction. They don't swizzle. They can, but you know I can turn that entirely with my finger. But they're not expected to. So anyway, um, there should be a grease nipple on there which I've removed, and I'm going to clean it, put it in. Now I'll, I'll I'll clean everything up, and I'll I'll pack I'll pack that with grease. Um, before I put it back on the car. But um, what, I, what I really need to do, I need to remove wherever it is, here it is. I need to remove this um, cap and it won't come out. I've, I've, it's starting to get damaged. So before damaging any further, I've just made sure that I can get some replacements and yeah, it's supposed to just push in and out and it won't. I've tried all sorts, sort of tapping it gently and I'm afraid I'm going to have to be a bit more forceful and really bash it out and it will wreck the damn thing. So I've, um, before wrecking this one, I've ordered two new ones because I expect the other side will be wrecked as well. Let's just um, use uh, a, a small hammer and, uh, and a centre punch. You have to be mindful, obviously the casting is alloy. So, uh, wow, that's really bashed in. <laughs> Um, yeah, the casting's alloy, so um, you can't really be too brutal. Yeah, I just... I don't think these have ever been out, you know. You, it's just, there's so much evidence as I'm working through this car of jobs that haven't been done, that are supposed to have been done. And I just, I can't believe that they would be this stuck if they'd ever been out of the car. Um... They're supposed to, you know, just to just to get uh, grease into the uh, into the bearing. But how would it be this stiff? It it just beggars belief. Anyway, it's a bloody good job I bought us some new ones because these this is smashed now. It's totally destroyed. But I've, uh, yeah, I'm just very very keen not to damage the casting anyway. If I can get the cap off, I can. Of course I can get it off, I say if, of course I can get it off. Um, but it's just, um, it's just not, it's not going to be reusable. Uh, anyway, let me just, um, let me just pause the camera because this could take some time. Okay, I've, I've spent about 10 minutes carefully tapping off camera. Just pop my safety gloves back on. It's an absolute nuisance. Um, what, it's the, the dome of the cap is starting to separate. Um, I, actually, part of, uh, it's taking the ring. There is a, um, just bring it up. There's a ring around the edge and then there's a dome, but there'll also be 
an insert which sits in the alloy. And I'm very keen not to, because what's been happening at certain points, the, the punch has been driving through. And if I'm not careful, it'll peel the dome off and the outer ring and it will leave the inner ring inside. And of course I need to, need to avoid that at all costs. I don't want to be trying to tap that out as well. It actually, it seems to be spinning now. But, um, obviously I've got to be mindful that the, the casting is alloy. Here we go. There's, honestly, there's no way this has ever been out. This has not been, this has not been removed since the car came out of the factory. It just, come on, actually, it's, it is coming out now. I've got to get it out as a whole. I don't want to be leaving any, any sort of bits behind in the casting that will then be even more difficult to, to remove. But I can't damage the casting either. Yeah, these are supposed to just pop out. Here we go. It is popping now, I think. Yes, it is. Come on, bloody hell. That's it. Good grief. It's out, but it's totally destroyed. I've ordered some new ones. A pair, £11.50 for a pair. <laughs> um, but at least now I've got complete access to clean this, the rest of the bearing out and get the new grease inside. And I will pop... I'll put the new the new caps in very carefully. Now, of course, I'll put copper copper ease. I've got to be careful because there is fragments of metal here. I do not want those fragments of metal falling inside because I'm going to be immersing this in in in, in solvent again in a few minutes. Um, a fresh solvent, you know, the, the last solvent I used ended up completely black. I've bought gallons of the stuff, and uh, my local sort of um, B and Q hardware place are having a bit of a clearance. You can buy a gallon of um, turpentine substitute for three pounds, which is rather fantastic. So I can afford to really slap it about at the moment. But I'm gonna, oh, yeah, there's all little tiny metal fragments. Um, I don't know if the camera's picking those up. Little, little, little shards. And um, I'm just trying to sort of fish them out and I'll get some tissue and rags and fish all this fish all this out properly before I immerse it. I don't want the, um, the solvent to be washing these metallic particles inside the bearing for obvious reasons. We, that's the last thing we need. But at least I've got that open now. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, clean, continue, give it another clean. I'll give it three or four cleans. This is just have one clean and um, I've, 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 you know, I've, I've canned up. Yeah, re -use, so I can reuse the original sort of uh, solvent. Um, it won't matter for a first clean how filthy it is, just to get the worst off. I've sort of sieved it and, you know, recanned it. And I'm now going to use completely fresh fluid, scrub all this out, and I'll recan that. And I'll do it three or four times until this whole thing is completely clean. Then I'll use the hairdryer um, to sort of blow away any residue of solvent. I don't want any residue of solvents left behind before I repack the grease. Let me just wipe that off there. I've got some paper up here. Just wipe off the particles. So, yeah, let me just turn the camera off and um, I, won't be, uh, I won't be filming me sort of dipping these in solvent. It's really not very exciting. I did that uh, about a week ago, just the first clean, but I'm certainly not gonna be filming um, anymore. But um, what I'll probably do another film as we start to reassemble this and get the grease in. That sounds very noisy, as you'd expect. It's completely bone dry. There's no play, but it's metal on metal. And um, yeah, let me just uh, turn the camera off and I'll come back and do some more videos when this is at a later stage.